Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? I, uh, brought you stuff from the office. You're a good worker. I think Tessa will come around when she's had a chance to clear her head. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. I'm freezing my butt off up here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. If you're going to lecture me, save it. She had it coming. She went behind Marianne's back and almost got us killed. What she did had terrible consequences. But I promise you, she was trying to help. Besides, you two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course. Uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. What's up with him? Not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. Tess has been venting non-stop about your fight. He you probably needed an excuse to take a break. Plus, a door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Hey, you been carving wood again? What? Oh, this. Yeah, I've been working on a gift for Dee. That's dope. Why do you get to be so crafty? I mean, I'm, I'm not that crafty. Marianne taught me most of it. Well, I'm impressed. These hands are good for nothing but cooking. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Of course. When I heard what happened, I knew the bitch's grotto had to go mobile. Guess I've got plenty of time to binge the last season of Witches of Eldom now that I'm fun employed. Wait till you see how they did Mabel. You're gonna rage quit just like I did. I don't know. I've got a lot of free time ahead of me. I, uh... I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but... I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit. Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. That I'm a great person and my feelings are valid. <sighs> this will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but that's a good start. Allison, what's going on?
everything is wrong. Like literally my whole life is going to shit. Everyone I know has been lying to me for years and, and I can't even trust my own memories. I feel like reality is just unraveling around me all the time. Hey, I get that Tyler being back has raised a lot of questions for you, but maybe take a step back from that ledge, okay? The last few days have been a lot and it's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. You're right. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh God. Allison, Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just, um, I need to, I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? I'm sorry. I just can't think about Juno right now. I've had the worst week. Hey, stop saying you're sorry. We don't have to talk about this now or ever, if you're having second thoughts. Yeah, I just, it's just, I think I might have fucked everything up with Tyler, for good. Hold up. I, I don't know the whole story, but nothing's fucked, okay? You two spent 10 years apart, and then day one you get thrown into some real intense shit. There's gonna be speed bumps. Please be honest. Have I been acting like an asshole? Every time he's asked me for something, I've pushed back. Even though I knew it was important. But this whole search has been tearing my life apart. And it's like he doesn't even care. You're not an asshole. You're just under a lot of pressure. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that, and so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. Uh, I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Whatever. I don't think it's gonna do much good. He's convinced he's meant to be alone. I thought I was the exception, but I was wrong. Well, I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. Alright. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. 
Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. 